Okay, so we're just a couple of minutes out at this point. Oh, we're 30 seconds out. Okay, I better really prepare. So um, what I noticed, um, I, I installed the leaderboard thing. I'll show you at the very end. I need to incre increase my incremental speed significantly. For example, here, I was in the lead on part one, but incremental was terrible. Same here, I was in the running for part one, but part two is where I've been let down almost every single day. So let's not do that today. Um, two, one, zero, get input, go here. Okay. In handheld game console, crap. Oh no, it's int code. Except for worse, because you have to parse. Dang it! <sighs> okay. Okay, so what is the plus four? Jump plus four. Oh, I see. So it goes four, five, six, seven. And then what is Act ninety nine? Ten. Value in the accumulator is five. Okay, so um, we don't need any of that. It's just the, nope, we do. Just kidding. Um, let's, let's read in the operations. And so let me just, okay, so opcode and then val equals line dot split and then uh, we're just gonna stringly type this thing because why not um, here we go for while true a equals five right um, and then PC equals zero, ops zero, ops PC. Wow, that would have been really bad. If OC equals jump, then PC plus equals V. Um, if if op equals plus equals v lf so we always do pc plus equals one so that's why we do the minus one there lf op equals wait no op and pass and then we let me grab this guy here
So So what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, so before I see scene equals set if uh, PC and scene return A. Wow, okay, I feel really dumb now, guys. Um, scene dot add PC. Let's go for it. Dang it. Okay, let me just make sure that my Oh, I should have oh my gosh, okay. Zero one two zero one two three four five six six seven zero one two three four then one. Oh my gosh, that's not what I'm supposed to do. A is just always zero. Wow, I am retarded. Absolute incompetence. Okay. Um, immediately after the last instruction in the file,
So, um, Okay, then what we're going to do here is Oh, I should have maintained this. Let me before I screw this up, I'm going to just copy everything. Um And then we're gonna we're gonna put it down in part two. Uh, I'm too prone to making mistakes this way. It's gonna cost me a few seconds, but it's it's worth it. Um, okay, so this is let's just make something. Um, for V in opco ops um, I V in enumerate all the ops if uh, new ops equals so this needs to take in the tape um, uh, and then this needs to be tape PC K okay, tape, and then we can actually just do this in here um, equals. So basically, up we want ops up to I. Plus no, no. Nop zero plus ops i plus one um, and then x tape if x tape return screw it let's just do that and then we need to also do and then I think that these need to be lists. Um, and then this needs to be a list here. Yes! That is a good result. That is a really good result. Um, part, part, um, oh, okay, never mind. That's not actually a really good result. It's it's a decent result. It's a decent result. But I'm now 15 back of Colin. How is that possible? Okay, what went wrong here? Um, the plus five was retarded. Oh my gosh. Uh, the problem is, so last year, int code, there was some stuff where you had to adjust the first... Um, you had to adjust the first instruction or something. So I thought I had to do that with the accumulator, but that's not what I had to do. Part two went pretty well. I think that was a pretty, I, I did I did what I wanted on, on improving my incremental speed. Um, that really saved me. But I think that the problem is, is that Yeah, I, I lost. I lost quite a few points on the, on the, um, on part one. I was just too slow. It's too freaking slow. Um. Okay. Well. So what went right here? Uh. What went wrong here? Did anything really go wrong? I. I mean, this went pretty well. The only. The only blatant issue was this thing here. 
which cost me a minute. So I might have gotten second place on on the stars, but the issue the issue that I have is that my part one was just too slow. I don't know what what happened. Let me let's. That was really bad. I didn't understand what was going on. I should have read this paragraph. Okay, where's the stats? That was... At least I made a comeback on part two. That's something that I haven't done for the past three days. So that's good. Um, I think that, that it was really innovative to just add this done thing. Again, it cost me a few seconds, but I don't think it would have actually mattered too much on the leaderboard. Um, mm, it could have. It may have. <sighs> Let's see. Did it cost me 15 seconds? Very well could have. Um, so then we change it to be a no-op. So this was pretty innovative. I think adding the done uh, op code was pretty good. Um, and then this, I was a bit slow on, but it, it was effective and I, I didn't screw it up. So that's like really good. Um, this was dumb. I should not do it this way. Um, let's, let's, I guess let's clean this up. Um, I have a feeling we'll be seeing this again, so I think that I will probably extract this out to something a little bit nicer to deal with. Um, so first of all, let's get rid of the prints. I, I want I want this to be clean enough that I can expand upon it really quickly for like day 10 or whatever, because I, I have a feeling that we'll be seeing this again. I have a feeling we'll be seeing this again. So the core is this function here, being able to run it. And I need to be able to expand on this. Um, let me just check, oh, whoops, um, check int code. So I needed to code instruction. That's gonna be important. Op codes. Yeah, I mean, this is very similar. Very similar. So in preparation though, for a program counter increments, let's, let's really clean this up. Man, that's a, this is a disappointing performance, to be perfectly frank. I, I, I'm i going to have to look back at the stream to figure out where I, I, I dropped time. I mean, the big thing was A, and then the other thing was I didn't understand what was going on. I, I didn't take my own advice and read part one enough. I, I didn't read this part. This is literally the key. If I had read this, I would have gotten understood what was going on here a lot faster and wouldn't have had like that couple of back and forth with like the I uh, infinite loop, right? Um, okay, let's, let's, um, let's make this a, a function now. What does this have a name? Let's do, um, let's just call it a machine. And then
Um, we need a d. Let's let's extract this to a function. This can be a I think this is actually cleanest. Um, and then we pull on this entire while loop. So part one just becomes, let me, before I screw up stuff, let's, Let's just do this, fix the assertion test for part two. Um, so run machine of decode tape. Of lines. Um, And then <clears throat> let's let's actually add an enum here for the opcodes. Um, Let's add that to the template. Um, and then we'll, we'll improve this here. So class The nice thing is these are um, um, a little bit easier to parse, like understand than int code. Like int code was incomprehensible what the operations were. So here, um, get enum from string python, I guess. From stir. No. This seems really dumb. Oh, I just can't even read Stack Overflow. Let me enable 
some stuffs. Here, jump. Um, I guess I need to. Something like that. Oh, whoops, lol. Um, okay. Go here. Okay. Let's name this OC. Looks good. Okay. <clears throat> So now let's add this opcode in. Update. Do nothing and then terminate. Okay, um, and then Turn if loop equals true. Return accumulator if loop. Return a if else none, I guess. Something like that. And then let's see here. Okay, here. So So for part two, we have to create a new tape with the with the tape replaced. So then <clears throat> return if loop equals false. Oh shoot, I've broken this. Uh, 
Oh, because I am bad. Okay, terminate program. Yeah, I feel like doing just a little bit of software engineering on this afterwards is gonna help for, for the future. Let's see here. So when I did this initially, I just, instead of adding a couple more seconds to do the result, putting that into a, a different variable or whatever, um, and then doing this, which is cleaner and doesn't call it twice, I just called it twice. It was fine, it was fast enough. Um, so now, Okay, there we go. I think that's a lot cleaner. I guess this doesn't need it even. To enumerate it. Um, what else can we do here? Um, Yeah, I, I, I think this is enough software engineering for now. Um, uh, Cause I, I don't know what's coming down the pipe, right? So just extracting these out to a couple functions, getting an enum so that I don't break my brain. Um, let me, let's look at int code. Yeah, I have a feeling that we'll have, so let's look at decode instruction. Yeah, there's there's gonna be some, some set of additional things here, I, I have a feeling. Let's do this just in preparation. Um, and then change my accumulate uh, my V. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I think this this seems good. That way then I can very, very easily accommodate more values. Hopefully there's no strings or else then I'm gonna have to deal with that. That's gonna be annoying. Um, Let's see, what else What else went wrong here? Um, honestly, I, I was just kind of slow. Like there was, there was really only one, okay, two, there were two issues. The accumulator issue and then not understanding what I was supposed to do on part one. Like not understanding the scene thing. I think I could have banged out the code a little bit faster if I had understood that. But I definitely was not in the running for our private leaderboard getting like he solved it in three freaking minutes. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Ridiculous. And Easton solved it in four minutes. Total disaster. Absolute and unmitigated disaster on the leaderboard for time. I hope that there's something that is like, I don't know. This seems, again, it's another one of those fast switch ones. I'm just not fast enough to type out this stuff. 
and I'm not I'm not quick enough on my feet to think about this. Going stringly typed was a good idea. Um, I'm thinking this is good for the future though. Um, and then let's see, maybe. Maybe let's actually put the machine above the input parsing and then do um, something like something like this. What if I add this? What if I add this to my template as well? And then I need to I need to do a little bit of engineering on this to extract the machine out to um, in a. Util class probably. Let's not. That's over engineering for now. For now, a copy paste method will be okay. Um, I'm actually going to add this to um, my template, I think. Yeah, if I was doing this in the real world, I would put this all into a class with a subclass and then multiple methods and an, and an, and an init. But I need quick, quick stuff, not intelligent, you know, correctly engineered stuff. Now, you know, that's, that's for my day job. Um, So what else went wrong? Um, I thought this actually went pretty well once I understood it. it took me, uh, like, I, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I said I would take a little bit more time reading part two and, and understanding it, and I think it paid off. My incremental time was much better, which saved me from a, an, a Carnage, like uh, like this one, for example. This one was bad. Okay. Um, that wasn't that wasn't the worst that I've done. You know, that definitely wasn't the best I could have done, but it was it was close. And like honestly. The comeback to get in top 1000 for part two was good. I would like to see this go down though. Um, and that I think just requires reading part one more, I guess. Um, I don't know, a little bit disappointing. But hopefully having this in the in my back pocket for future will serve me well. I hope this isn't just int code again. I mean, kind of I do. Like, it, int code was a lot of fun. This was, so I wouldn't mind seeing this again, but the problem is that means that people will be fast at it and I'll be slow at it because, you know, of course I will. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, let's call it here. Um, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and come over and follow me on Twitch. 
where I am doing this every single day. So I'll be back at it tomorrow for day nine. Have a good evening, everyone.